let's do an unboxing from Portland Leather Goods. Okay, so this week I wanted to share with you guys some new leather bags from companies that I've never tried before. One of them that I have had on my eye for quite a while, but I've never pulled the trigger. Um, so I got three different styles actually from Portland Leather Goods, and then I'll be doing two other leather bag brands this week as well, um, just for fun to try some different leathers. These are ones that I've heard are really nice and really good, so I'm excited to see what the quality is like compared to the bags that I've already shown here on my channel before. Oh, cute. Okay, so uh, right on top there is like a little um, welcome to the fam card that just has like the Portland leather information. So these bags are made in Oregon, and I've heard that they're Leather is just awesome. I think it's all full grain leather, which is my favorite. So let's see here. I got three different styles. Looks like this one's one of the smaller ones. This, I was so excited to see this color in person. Oh, this is cute too. Look at this. It says, open me, and it just gives you some like care tips and different things like that for the leather. That's so cute. Okay, perfect. Look how pretty this is. Um, shoot, I'm gonna blank on like the names of everything right now. Mmm, you guys, this smells really good and this color is really pretty. I was really excited to see this color in person because when I saw it on the website, it kind of like stopped me in my tracks because I'm used to just seeing neutral colors when I'm looking at leather bags and so when I saw all these really fun pops of bright colors, I was very intrigued and excited to see what they look like. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, so the inside, I believe, of all the bags is going to be like an unfinished, um, it's not lined, so it's just like the backside of the leather. It's a really pretty color. Um, okay, so there's a slip pocket on the inside. On the outside, you have a slip pocket here. It does say Portland leather. And just off the bat, like it feels really nice and smooth. The zippers feel really nice. Like the whole thing feels nice and high quality. Good hardware to adjust. Okay, I found my phone so I could figure out what the names of everything is. This is the toaster bag, and this is in the color boysenberry. I feel like in the camera it's looking a little more reddish, and in person it's looking a little more purple. I feel like when I looked online at the purple color, that's what it looks like in person. For some reason, I feel like my camera's pulling out more of the red tones, but it definitely is more of like a purpley boysenberry color. So that's really cute. Smells so good. Um, I like the little knot detail here on the zipper pull. That's really cute. The gold hardware matches well. So this is the toaster bag. Well, let's see what else we have here. Okay, this next one is called the Lola Crossbody, and this is in the color Honey. Now, I did want to mention, I grabbed all of these bags from their Almost Perfect section. I honestly don't really see any issues with this one. I mean, there's like some a line there. I don't know if that's what the issue would be, but it looks really good. I don't, maybe right here. I don't know, I think it looks really great. So, I'm looking at this one. Oh, I see a little, oh no, that can just be wiped off, I think. Yeah, I'm not seeing much on this one either that makes it the almost perfect style. Mmm, that also smells really nice. I think there's like a little spot here on the back, but I think I can, like, I was kind of buffing it out just with my hand, so I feel like with some conditioner, that could be easily buffed out. This one is, like I said, called the Lola. It's in the honey color, which I was very drawn to this honey color. Um, I love the sleek, beautiful look of this leather. So, so soft. Again, you have the logo here on the front. Here is a slip pocket. And then you also have two grab handles here at the top and you have a messenger strap. Mmm, everything smells so nice. Okay, it looks like there is a snap closure on this one. There's two tabs there, so it gives you a little extra room, but again, like I said, kind of an unfinished interior, and then you have a slip pocket to work with inside. The feel of the leather is really nice. It does feel 
um, like a really beautiful matte smooth leather material. I was kind of debating between this Lola style or just their regular like medium crossbody because that one is shaped a little bit different. This one has a little more of a like boxy feel and the other one is more of just your like traditional tote which is I think why I end up grabbing this one just because I think it's a little bit more unique looking. Um, and I love the honey color. So, so pretty. Oh, smells so good. Okay, so far so good. That is the Lola, almost perfect. It, honestly, don't see any issues with this. Um, so I'm really pleased with their almost perfect section. And if you go check out their website, the almost perfect section is substantially less expensive than the regular stuff. So I say it's safe to go with the almost perfect stuff. Okay, this last one is going to be the crossbody tote in cognac and i've actually never seen a cognac color that's this dark i've always thought like a cognac was like this color or lighter um like a lighter brown maybe even like a little bit lighter than this this is a true beautiful like honey color i love that color so i'm excited to see what this looks like in person it's a little bit bigger than the other two bags Ooh. okay i like it it is a darker brown but it has some red undertones to it which I was excited about I wanted it to be more of like a red undertone brown than just like a chocolate brown um I don't know I just kind of lean towards more of the reds and you saw like I love the purple color there this is beautiful um I do have a lot of like brown light brown bags so um having something more in this dark color seemed really fun I really like it. it. has this nice big pocket here. Let's check out the, what this looks like. Oh, the tote handles are pretty good length. Yeah, that can fit over my shoulder. That's nice. Um, this is softer and lighter than I thought it was going to be. From some of the reviews that I already watched on YouTube, people said that this could get really heavy, so I was kind of expecting a heavy bag. Um, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't feel like it's that heavy. Once you load it up, obviously it'll get heavier, but just the bag itself with the stuffing in it, um, I don't think it's bad. And I actually ordered, there's two versions of this. You can get the version where it's zippered on top or you can just get where it's more of like a simple open tote. I actually grabbed it in the version that has the zipper just for a little more security. Um, I like the look of just the open tote, but I figured I could just leave it unzipped if I wanted to because these panels from the zipper just like lay flat there so you could have it just look more of like an open space um or you could zip it closed which i like having the option to do that again unfinished interior it does have a slip pocket here on this side just like the other two but it looks like this pocket actually does come out so it's like its own section there is that the same for this one Okay, this one does not come out. It does have the pocket there, but it's not like this one where it will actually like flap out of the bag. Um, and you can see, once I pull that out, that's what that looks like. It says Portland Mother Goods. Really, really pretty. And I think once you like break this bag in a little bit, it's just gonna get softer and squishier with time. Um, again, you guys know I love a good matte leather and this one feels really nice and smooth. It does also come with a crossbody strap. You can remove it if you want, which is great. So if I just wanted to wear this as strictly a tote bag, I could do that. Or um, if it gets a little heavy at some point, you just want to throw it over your shoulder you have that option as well so that's why I grabbed this one because I thought the versatility was great and it was big enough to be able to throw in all of my baby's items in here as well mm, it smells so good okay so I'm really excited about these I am pleased with the quality that I'm seeing from the bags I love the colors of all the bags that I chose um, and the styles I think it was hard for me to choose because there were a lot of really great options on their website but look at those beautiful colors so pretty and then here's the fun like top of the boysenberry purple super super cute and again just love the texture and the feel of all these bags so I'm excited to pack these up and um, let me know if you want to see a specific packing review on any of these styles like I said this company is brand new to me this is my first time trying any of these styles but for the price of a beautiful leather bag um, I could definitely recommend these two guys. In fact, let me tell you how much I paid for them so you can see how great the prices are for full grain leather. Um, this is 
So the Lola was $96. The toaster bag was $76. And then this crossbody tote was $142. And from the reviews I've seen and everything, these are supposed to be really sturdy, great quality bags that'll last you a really long time. So I think those prices are amazing. Um, I'll be sure to link uh, Portland Goods down in the description box below so you can easily go find it. Again, let me know if you want to see a specific review um, on any of these styles. But yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. They're so cute. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my Portland goods unboxing. And I will see you guys very soon for my next review.